Hey guys, due to the popularity of a segment on one of our shows, Face Off, which is, premieres live every Wednesday night, I'm doing a special segment which takes that piece out of that video every Friday. It'll be the top 10 best and worst selling comics of a certain week, uh, which will be found in the title of the video. So I hope you guys enjoy this little excerpt uh, from that show. Should be a pretty popular video. All right, so here we go. Are we doing the top 10 order or the top worst? We start first? with the worst selling ones. Okay, let's do the worst selling ones. There we go. From last week, that's for, uh, what is that for? 1118? Uh, yes. Or 1111. Books coming out 11, I believe it is uh, it's 18. 18. What do yeah. we got? Nobody gave a shit about this cover. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, oh my god, this is going to be funny, dude. Just saying, man, no one gave a shit about this one. Or this one. <laughs> well, at least you put it up, gave people the opportunity. Yep, chick on a skull. <laughs> Just didn't appeal to you guys, don't know what it was, but nobody, uh, nobody jumped on that shit. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else nobody liked. Bill, did you pick up this one this week? No, no, but there was a cool variant, I think. Well, this is what I thought was the cool variant, but apparently not. No, that's not it. Like, uh, you know, the age-old reflection in the sword cover, you know? I feel like you should at least see the corner of her mouth sneak, sneaking out from underneath there. I don't know if the artist is just too lazy to draw it or what, but... Plus, there's no boobs. Yeah, she's covering them up. So... What a tease. So even though this got uh, announced for a cartoon series, no one no one gave a shit. <laughs> Congratulations to the Lumberjanes, though, for making it to issue 75. That's awesome. That is pretty amazing. Is that is that a kid's book? Uh yeah, it pretty much is. It's a young, young, young teen, adolescent stuff. Or Arthur so, King. She likes to uh he likes to read little kid books too. So uh, what happens is the parents take their kid to the shop and then they pick them up that. Yeah. Yeah, if I had any kids that came into my store, we would direct them to that the area where we have. I think we have Lumberjanes number sixty four up there still. It's the last one I ever ordered and sold any of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey. hey, like I said, guys, we may laugh about some of these covers, but this is just our little slice of the pie. I'm sure there's there's stores out there that sell the shit out of Lumberjanes. It's just not me. It's just not me. If you guys start buying this stuff, then okay. <clears throat> You guys keep talking about how to hold the sword. Here you go. She's literally not holding the sword. Good call, Arthur King. Yes, she's bouncing hey, it. She's precariously Dude. bouncing it on her thumb that she may or may not have in the right position. She's dropping it. Yeah, so, maybe, maybe she's dropping it, and in mid-drop, it just so happens to capture that moment. I don't know. I got I mean, a question for you, though, real quick. Shoot. Uh, did you see last night when I interviewed uh, Steph, the Amazon no. cosplayer? Dude, no. okay, get check this out. We interviewed her, right? She did the Red Sonia 21 cosplay cover. She's like, I also did Wonder Woman holding the flag and a Red Sonia. Nathan Zerdy used her as a model for those two comics elite covers. Cool. I thought that was cool. Cool. Yeah, uh, all right. What's next? Uh, this one. <laughs> I did show those, by the way, guys. I did show them on my FSC show. This one also didn't sell. Cube head, nobody wanted cube head and uh, depressed Robin Hood. <laughs> that was a number one, yeah. I get it, yeah. I Apparently, not really thought that was an interesting cover, yeah. I don't know, like, this ghost is is that I think that's a girl ghost, she appears to be groping the chick on the bike. Well, she's got her hand somewhere and her tongue's in her ear. Well, her hand's on her boob, too. Oh, sh Jesus. No, I don't think that's Jesus, man. <laughs> uh, so, uh, anyway, there's this. And the angry, <coughs> the angry dark-haired girl is pretty mad. She must not be doing it right. I don't know. Okay. Got it. This is a perfect example of how to not sell a comic. <laughs> Perfect example of how to not sell a comic. So, oh, shit. Not only is this cover so uninteresting, 
I almost don't want to read this book. And I love Umbrella Academy. There, you know what could have saved this cover? Would have been some Art. trade dress. A what? Trade dress. Like put the logo in the in the title on the cover. And maybe it would have looked cooler. But this there's so much dead space on this cover. I don't, I don't think it. that's the problem. I don't get it. I think it's the art. Sorry, artist. Is that I, a Bartel cover? I like this cover, but it didn't sell any. Probably it's because, Bartel, right? Uh, yeah. I believe it's Bartel. And probably because it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer number five. I don't think anybody cares about Buffy anymore. But those who do, they're still making comics of her. So there you go. There it's you true, go. right? Look at this. For some reason, you're right. I find these wildly bad covers fascinating. It's true. This is like some of the greatest stuff ever. It's funny, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, here's, so notice how pixelated that is? Yeah. I had to zoom it. I had to stretch that because the image they put up for FOC was like. I hate that, too. 26 Can I ask you a question, right? Sean? Like when I'm doing my FOC, you know what video, I know when I'm doing this. Arthur King deals with this every day when he's trying to. <laughs> when I'm doing the FOC show, right? I'm using your account, right? And I'm on Diamond, and I'm a couple days ahead of the end, right? How come they don't have all the damn covers up there by that time? Welcome to my life. I don't. It's ridiculous. How do you sell books just by the name of an artist? It makes. Like, here's what kills me: is when Marvel doesn't have like a hot artist cover up. Oh, dude, that's all the time. I would literally sell hundreds more of a copy if I would just get the final art. It's almost like they don't want to sell comics. Like this. Do you want to sell a comic? Firefly? Nobody well, cares that, about Firefly anyway. That is and the then, bonus about it, store exclusives though. You can count on store exclusives being a hell of a lot better the majority of the time on certain books. Yeah, uh, but people that complain about store exclusives, I say some of the best covers ever done have been store exclusives. Yeah. Oh, I agree with Gabe here. I love Mercy covers. But of course, Mirko and Dolph is just fire shiznit. Okay, what else? <laughs> I think when you get to number eight, you pretty much... I, that should have been a three three issue. I feel like there's too much going on on this cover. I'm sure it makes sense if you're uh, reading the series. I'm not reading the series. So this cover <laughs> makes no sense to me. Oh, shit. I don't know. No sense. It's okay. All right, and if Marvel had a dud. Yeah, that's second week in a row, dude. Another Warhammer cover. Now, supposedly they had enough of this. This is the second print. So I guess they sold enough to make a second print, but it wasn't to me. But here's the problem, dude. I don't think anyone's going to buy a second print anyway because it's not a key, is it? I mean, it's like not it's, a first appearance or anything. It's a game. or it's, it's a, a game. Well, this game is wildly popular no i get that but like but same thing though there's little crossover between between gamers and people who read comics very little crossover all right cool uh, cover. Love, wow, thanks larry shenna larry's been buying for a long time so is arthur I like that cover. And you know what? Here's another thing that blows me away. It's a second print on issue 22. Issue 22, second print. Good for these guys. They must be killing it. Dude, it must have been a hot cover. I bet you I picked it on my hot cover list. They must be killing it. Uh, but I didn't kill it on any of my cells. Uh, All right. So now we're into the, the top 10 Starting with number 10. Any predictions, Billy? What do you got? Well, I can't find my list which one it is. I'm, I'm waiting to see the first book so I can match it up. Uh, FFT, I don't know. I mean, uh, the 10 is the 10th worst or the 10th best? Yeah, see, Key Lime hit it on the nose right there. I'm a gamer who reads comics, but I don't read comics based on games. Most yep. people don't. Most people don't. Magic the Gathering. I love Magic the Gathering. Huge, huge MTG fan. Love it. I don't read Magic the Gathering comics. They made them. Even the ones about the girls like Liliana. I don't care. I just don't read them. I'd rather build a deck <laughs> than read them. All right, so number 10. Nerd, ready? Nerd alert. Yeah. Look, just joking. Go ahead. Have you looked in the mirror, bro? <laughs> yeah, bro. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. Number 10. It's not like we do comic book related stuff or anything. Uh, okay, 1027. Oh, wait, Venom 27. I think I kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest, but this is a good example of Marvel using the interior art. This is the fourth print, <laughs> but it's first codex. Fourth print, first codex. Codex may or may not be something he okay. could he could just disappear after this. Before you begin, I found the page. I already now, begin. I'm going to read off my was my favorites for that week really fast. Do Mir it. Miracle and Dolpho and Sacred Number One uh, cover C. We live Number One second print. Um, Batman 103, Death Metal 5, Catwoman 27, Sea of Sorrows number one, the 25 copy. I doubt you had that. Uh, Darkness number one was the 25th anniversary. There was a Stefan Sedgwick cover, was fire. Ice Cream Man number 21. There's a couple others in here. Captain America 25, possible key. Hulk 40, the young spoiler cover. I don't know what it was, but I thought it might sell. Marvel Voices Indigenous, the Ghost Rider Vergi. I hate those things, but the Ghost Rider was cool. Um, Symbiote Spider-Man King and Black's probably number one. Uh, Venom 27 third print, and of course Venom 30, Widowmakers. There's a couple others, but most of top 50. <laughs> <laughs> was that your top 50? <laughs> well, it was a good week. All right, so it was a good week, but I bet you they're all on here. Maybe. All right, so there's number 10. I'll write it down. Number yeah, 10. Here we, go. here we go. Let's check your mad skills. Okay. All right. So number 10 was Venom 27 fourth print. I think it's because they picked a good interior art page. It's a splash page. It's Agent Venom looking pretty cool. Agent Venom is probably the least the least popular Venom of all the Venoms. Um, but so, it's what? It's Annie and it's the first Codex. Yeah. Most people don't know that that's Annie. Most people just see a cool picture of Venom. That's why they buy it. Most pick cover sell because they're cool. All right. So that's 10. Number nine. One of your favorites ever, Billy? I had cap on there, but number 20, but not that one. I'm telling you, man, these Vergiri covers are wildly Vergiri. popular. Wildly popular. So this one's number nine. Now, cap 25 had pretty strong sales. The Alex Ross hung in there. Um, sometimes the difference is literally one to two copies in this top 10 list. But... Uh, the, this variant beat all the other ones out, even the Alex Ross. Thank you, cool. Arthur. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, plus it's a key. Don't forget, there's going to be a key in there. I'm pretty sure the preview I give you a pretty good hint at a key appearance. Gabe, that was a good cover. I agree, man. All right, number... Uh, yes. Number eight, surprisingly, it was this low, but the first... The yeah. first issue to be published with the King in Black banner on it. And that's not even the Randolph cover. No. But the, Greg Land's great and everything. It's very possible that we'll see the first ever symbiote. Oh, it's very possible in this book we might see a new character that we've never seen before that would be the first to bond with the symbiote type of thing. That's what the previews kind of say. Yeah. Well... Notice the cool evil symbiote Spider-Man down there in the corner? Yeah. I I want to read that. I've seen it before, that figure. You got Kang in there? So, you know, maybe, uh, as we know, the symbiote Spider-Man is back when Peter first got the suit. It's it's back in time. Secret Wars. But this is even before. Just after Secret Wars. So this is like early symbiote before all this null stuff was around you got kang in there i wonder how much maybe how they try a little bit of time travel in there to bring symbiote spider-man into the king and black storyline possibly so i don't know i'm interested to read this stuff yeah and that randolph cover was sick but i don't know why it's not on there but Greg so, so most times with with potential keys which cover almost always retains value the main cover so people always buy a cover a more because that's always the most desirable cover um, all right, so number seven, uh, lots of venom in this this list. I, I do want to say on that symbiote that you know the team up of Peter David and Greg Land is a the symbiote spider. That's why it's so good. The Dude. internal art's so good, and the oh, writing's yeah. good. I've been a fan, a fan of Peter David forever, and uh, Boy, nice too. Yeah, great guy. All right, number seven, Venom Thirty. Yep, of course, Venom Thirty. 
So this will be the uh, someone asked in one of your chats that we were in, uh, like, what do you think is going to happen in thirty? And my, I said my guess was that they're going to try to get to Codex, right, and fight their way to Codex, and then Dylan and Codex will meet. But I don't think anything will happen until thirty-one. You mean Dylan meets Dylan? Yeah. And then I think in thirty ones when Null comes into play, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't know, man. I don't know if thirty one is going to explode into King and Black. If it's going to fizzle, and then they start King and Black. Donny Cates isn't the guy to fizzle out of story. So I don't know, man. I'm very curious. So there's seven. Uh, here's six. Yep. On that Batman uh, one hundred three, I have. Uh, Oh, yeah. Somebody, somebody told me today that Harley and Ivy are getting married. Oh, hell yeah. I don't I don't know where I heard. Some, somebody mentioned it to me. <clears throat> That's just a rumor. I have no idea when or how it's going to happen, but um, I don't know. It, I, I think that'd be awesome, though, if they did. I hope okay. they make it out and stuff. Okay. Uh, five. Yeah. Fifth print. The book yeah. will not go away. So you talked about subsequent printings being popular. Here you go. Well, this is actually the cover A, uh, first print in black and white. So the reason here's the kind of the reason that people got excited about subsequent printings is because the print one was supposed to be lower, <laughs> which would then make it more popular. But this is the fifth most ordered book of this week, and it's the fifth print. So. Yeah. The market is destroying its own theory. Uh, it doesn't so. matter. Either way, they're making money. Look, honestly, I feel like if something's telling me this is good spec. Like, maybe not this print, but the Strange Academy. This is like the new X-Men. You should be buying every Strange Academy that comes out. There's a new yeah. backup coming up pretty soon. Uh, yeah, so good. So good. Okay. Uh, so three, any guesses or four? I'm sorry, yeah, number four, death, Catwoman. No, nope. Venom, oh, okay. the Stegman cover, is that the one in 25 or just the cover B? Venom 30 cover, uh, B. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's cover B. Yep, Stegman, okay. I like the writing on this. Uh, really cool. I really like Stegman. Don't you? Oh, been, Stedman is phenomenal. Good, dude. Stedman is phenomenal. He's so good. He's easily one of my top five. The interior art and in these books are great. Yeah. They're ama I'm amazed a guy of his caliber is, is doing interiors. I'm glad he is. Yeah. I'm glad he is. Dude, Greg Land's doing Symbiote Spider-Man. Get out of here. Yeah. Okay, bye. All right. Uh, three. Again, one Metal. of your favorites. And this was number three by a stretch. This cover crushed. Oh, Jesus. This cover crushed. Dude, I hope the Ghost Rider one's on there because that one's cool looking. It's not, bro. <laughs> wow. Well, it's everyone nowhere, loves her. Nowhere near on here. You know everyone's trying to complete this, just like Al Cross. Now everyone's trying to complete their... A Varigi uh, thing. What's going to happen is they're going to put them all together on the floor and a portal the hell is going to open. <laughs> they're going to go in and just... You know, it's, it's a unique style. It's that uh, indigenous, you know, uh, Indian style. Indian's politically correct term, but whatever. Um, you know, people just, it speaks to some people. They like it. They're digging it. I do, I think this cover is I like the use of colors in this. I think it's really good. I like how it fills the whole page. I like his hands. That's about it. It's good. All right, number two. Again, this cover crushed it. The blank it's for Spider-Man. It's so crazy because artists have to use like a whiteout or like a paint, paint pen to actually do art on these things. Most artists I know hate, hate drawing on black blanks. Yep. They hate it, but if you, cool. get a good, if you get a good commission done on this, it looks really freaking cool. Yeah, you got to have the right guy like Mike Zeck or something. He knows how to work with that shit. And then uh, 
Number one, what's your guess, Bill? Okay, let me look. Oh, damn, this is going to be tough. Can I give three choices? Sure. Oh, shit. Catwoman 27, cover B. Um, First thing? I don't know. I'm sure it is. Ice Cream Man number 21, cover B. An indie book? Number one? I, I 21. Ice an Cream Man. Book? No, an indie book selling, beating all Marvel and DC covers? Well, okay. I guess I'm wrong. Okay, I, I'm wrong then. Ice Cream Man. Um, and then, or uh, I guess Death Metal 5. There is that Marvel Indigenous. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll stick with those three. Death Metal 5 wasn't on this week's uh, FOC. Yeah, it was on mine. But whatever, they must have pushed it. Yeah. Number one is a second print. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That might have been that might have been my fault. Because this would be first cover appearance of this guy. Yeah. Um, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> it went written down too. And it Star Wars seventh print second print. Yep. Second but print. It, that rounds out your top ten. Hang on a sec. I thought number seven was his first appearance, and it would be second print on number seven. No, six. So six was his cameo, right? Putting his first on the cover of six instead. Yeah, his first cover appearance is now the second print of <laughs> number six. I know that Star Wars has always been well, a heavily ordered book. I guess it depends what. So I don't think he's on the cover for seven because number seven is just Darth Vader on the cover. Okay. Or that was with uh, what's the name of it? I know Star Wars is always a good book. Well, stores that I've known, they always order kind of heavy on it. Um, I don't know how you order on it, but dude, there is definitely shit is popping off with this Vader shit right now, and of course with you know the show. Oh, when's that is that show coming on tonight? When is that? What show? Is that today? What are you talking about? Oh, Mando's on Halloween. Oh Mando yeah, Mando's out. Mando's out right now. I would we would not be one right now. So, but yeah, I mean that has really brought heat back to Star Wars. I think, and uh, of course now they're introduced. Dude, it's like first appearances all day long every week. There's yeah. they are creating more and more characters on Marvel and DC. That's ridiculous. It's crazy.